Hey, so I want to talk about something that may be just a bit controversial. And it's not mm, super serious, though maybe it could devolve into that. But I think at the end of the day, it's just a personal opinion. So in August, I started playing PSO2 seriously. And uh, I'm pretty sure you all know what Fantasy Star Online 2 is. And Fantasy Star as a franchise, or at least the Fantasy Star Online games, are what pioneered Monster Hunter. And it kind of kind of like pioneered the looter genre in a sense. And um, it's a very beloved franchise. But the thing is, I was also playing Final Fantasy XIV for about five or so years and recently i left 14 for pso2 now hear me out now before you leave before you leave just listen so i love ff14 and i think that it is one of the best mmos on the market currently and it may stay that way for quite a bit but the thing is just because it is one of the best games out there or the best MMOs out there doesn't mean that it'll always be my favorite. So I prefer action combat and a lot of you who watch my channel know that I cover mostly Monster Hunter content and I love the gameplay loop of Monster Hunter and I love the combat in Monster Hunter. It's what keeps me playing. So naturally this game with its pretty intense action combat especially toward end game it gets really freaking crazy i prefer this over ff14's tap target based combat but then we can also account for the fact that i also just like the sci-fi aesthetic just a bit more than i actually like a medieval fantasy setting and I think all of that started to come into place the more I played PSO2. I kind of just started to fall in love with the game in general. And um, I figured maybe I don't want to go back to 14. And I think one of the big reasons for that as well is probably just the fact that I also play Monster Hunter. And Monster Hunter games are usually my main games most of the time. So, I used to juggle Monster Hunter with 14, but now that I'm taking content more seriously, I just don't think that I can juggle Monster Hunter along with 14 and PSO2 and, you know, whatever else is coming out this year. Cyberpunk's about to come out. That's just a bit too much for me. Um, I can't really do that. And have a life at the same time so that's ultimately my main reason for for leaving 14 I would say but there are a couple of more reasons or at least one other reason in particular is that my 14 account may have been compromised and um, once I saw that was a thing I just didn't want to deal with it anymore <laughs> I think that was kind of like the last straw for me with 14, unfortunately. So uh, yeah, I guess after hearing about New Genesis, which is going to be kind of like a sequel slash expansion sort of thing for PSL2, and it's also going to coexist with the existing PSO2 on top of PSO2 getting a graphics update to match New Genesis. I know it's confusing as shit. But yeah, there's so much more reasons to play this game right now. And there's so much more to look forward to in the future. Having most, if not all, your cosmetics transfer over to New Genesis, like back and forth between New Genesis and PSO2. And just a wealth of even more things. Your cosmetics, your character model, on top of New Genesis B 
being a sequel in a sense and taking place a thousand years after the current game and having open field gameplay it's gonna be more akin to Monster Hunter World in a bit I think that's what Sega is going for with this but I think the promise of more things to come is what's fueling me to want to play PSO2 even more now and hey this game is great man I waited eight years for this game and it finally comes out worldwide and the funny thing is it came out at the right time like it came out just when Sega announced they're pretty much renewing the game and the game will probably be around for years to come which is awesome in my opinion so so yeah and also because it's so much more similar to Monster Hunter I guess that's also why I preferred more but yeah at the end of the day this is just my opinion and it's okay if you don't feel the same way i know people who you know juggle multiple mmos it's just not something that i prefer to do i like to put my all into an mmo especially so and uh mainline monster Hunter games are borderline mmos at this point not quite there but you know it's it's still a lifestyle game and on top of making content it's just it's a lot to juggle with other games as well so yeah if you um found this video insightful in any way consider dropping a sub a like and uh also let me know down below what you think of the situation or you know do you want to play pso2 are you interested are you currently playing ff14 and you want to dip your toes into PSO2 because I believe both games are both games are MMOs that that you don't have to leave your social life behind for. So you can honestly dip your toes between both games essentially. Um but I think if you're in my position, maybe that might be a bit too much, but yeah, let me know down below what you think and uh Take care of yourself.